You're listening to Bloomberg Business Week with Carol Masser and Tim Stenevec on Bloomberg Radio. So. When I was a kid, Carol. Yes. And I needed to raise money for, you know, something at school. We did walkathons for charity. We did school trips. I did it the old fashioned way. Okay. This was the 90s. Keep that in mind. Okay. Yep. I went door to door with a clipboard. I rang doorbells. Actually, wore, wore rollerblades, so I could so do it quicker. That. So I could go door so to door 1990s. Quicker. So Southern California, 1990s. I should have skateboarded, actually. <laughs> well, it was, of course, before smartphones. Kids these days have other options, such as the one developed by our next guest, Cole Morgan, the founder and CEO of Snap Mobile. It's a digital fundraising tool that high schoolers can use to raise money for schools, teams, clubs, and more. Cole's here with us in the Bloomberg Interactive Brokers studio. Cole, good to have you with us this afternoon. I should note... You raised $700 million uh, for 100,000 plus groups and teams. That's a lot. That's uh, a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah we're talking about some Pretty serious money here. Talk to yes. us a little bit about the platform. And, and also, I'm interested in, in the business model here and thank the take you. rate. Yeah, so we. Uh, so I, was, I would just say thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, when I called my mom and told her the idea for the business, I told her we were going to raise a million dollars for schools. Uh, How old were you? I was 20 eight at the time, 38 now. Um, and now, and I do, we're actually approaching about $800 million given back to school so far. Wow. Um, so yeah, so we've, uh, we started a few years, started 10 years ago. We're in about half the schools in the United States. Um, we focus on financial transparency in schools and helping groups of people raise money for a common cause where a lot of the crowdfunding platforms online focus on individuals raising money, come in, quickly sign up. We help groups of people with that require oversight. So the school, your club organization, um, you know, where somebody actually needs to oversee the financials of the of the group, we help that group raise money, and so the money goes directly to the organization or to the school or to the nonprofit or whatever it is, rather than the individual. So, how does it work? Uh, kids log in. They yeah. send uh, send out emails, text messages, social media. Uh, January 1st, we're launching uh, mobile apps. We'll have over a million kids download our mobile app uh, next year. So there's no mobile app up to now? No, it's all been a web app. Wow. Because a web app, That's really uh, a web app was faster. Um, huh. a web app, we, had, we actually had a mobile app when we very first started, but it would show up. You'd try to get all these kids to download a mobile app. It would take too long, but that was 10 years ago and kids weren't. They kept thinking they Quite were downloading savvy. Snapchat. That had happened. That's okay. happened. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So they. So they. Now they log in. They download the mobile app and they they go through the flow. You know, they they send out their emails to friends and family. I'm sure you guys have actually probably gotten an email I from a, a niece or a nephew to yeah. donate to a. a but it's, is a it, fine arts is it or an athletic label, program. Though? No. It's, nope. So it'll take you to a site that shows you that it is Snap Mobile. It's yeah. We'll show you that. So that that part of the platform is called Snap Raise. And it'll take you to that. It'll actually take you to that kids fundraising page because mm -hmm. what we know is that people want to support kids and the causes that the kids care about. So it's not about supporting the actual football team directly. It's about supporting the kid who's mm -hmm. a part of the football team. Uh, so it actually will take you to when my son starts using the platform. He's only two. Um, it'll take you to Luke Preston Morgan's uh, you know football page. And you'll, Luke will have a goal, and then the team will have a goal above that. So it's a hierarchical structure that allows the team to raise money. So all 100 kids on the football team are raising money at the same time for, do, the, for the same cause. You do live in Texas. You're already thinking about football, and your kid's only two. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I played football. We live in Texas. This is the it's, whole company is surrounded by it. Yeah. It seems so logical. Yes. So what was it that... What was the idea initially that you said, okay, this, this, we've got something here. Yes. It's a, it's a very simple idea. It's, it, it looks more simple on the surface than it actually is underneath. So we have an entire organizational database that connects school administration all the way to the communities in which they live and that support them. So there's, there's a lot of data and infrastructure, financial transparency, oversight, security, compliance. Right. But on the surface, it was really simple. I was selling discount cards and cookie dough in schools after I got done uh, playing football. And a coach said to me, we love that you're here, but we hate why you're here. Uh, so there's got to be a better way. This is the honest to goodness story. It's on our website. Yeah. Um, I said, what do you mean? He said, our kids, you know, we need help. We need to raise money, but we don't want to do the things that you're making us do, which is sell all these things. The school doesn't like that we take cash. The kids don't want to sell things. The parents don't want to buy things. They just want to support. 
So I said, okay, just like my whole life, I've taken coaching. So it's like, what do I do? So I looked around the school and I saw every kid on their phone and I started asking friends and family and people at bars and restaurants. I said, do you care about supporting kids? And they would say yes. And then I would say, do you have cash in your wallet? And they would say no. <laughs> and I would say, do you have your phone? And they would say yes. And I would say, do you have your credit card? And they would say yes. And so I just put together the idea of the phone, the credit card, and kids asking politely for community and family support. So what's your take rate? Our take rate is 20%. Wow. Yeah. That's very high. That's it's, much higher than I thought it would be. So of every yeah. dollar that is donated, yeah. your platform takes 20%. Yeah. Yes. I was expecting two or three percent. Yeah. It's a it's a high take rate for what we for you know what you think of in the world of crowdfunding. But if you look at, you know, some of the other individual platforms, they just tack it on in a different way. We don't do that. Um, we there's a service based model for us. So we help organize, coordinate, promote, maintain, and manage the entire online fundraising event. So we're not the cheapest thing in fundraising, but we are the cheapest thing in school-based fundraising, which is a very different thing because when you sell discount cards and cookies, you're only making 50%. That's $160 million. I was just doing some calculations here. $160 million. But that's a big difference because you think about, yeah. you know, whether it's Girl Scout cookies or what have you, you're mm -hmm. saying that the kids only get 50%. Yeah, sometimes less. Sometimes less. Yeah, Do, are you because only there's a product involved. Sometimes, yeah, but you can hide behind the you can hide behind the the fact that the product is there. But I'll be honest but, yeah. with you, having done that for nieces and nephews and mm -hmm. buying wrapping paper and stuff that I really don't want, I'd rather have just given them money. Yeah. But that's not the way it was set up. Are you going to only stay with schools? I don't mean only, but no, we were. We're. I mean, we are okay. the largest you know youth organization fundraising platform as well. Yeah. Um, it's just our main focus is schools. Uh, but we grow into the we grow into the youth side as well. Yeah. One of the other things that we provide for the twenty percent take rate is financial oversight and compliance for every dollar that comes into your school. So you know, there's a school actually locally that an athletic secretary absconded with some of the money, and because they were a SNAP client, this just happened a few weeks ago. Mm. Uh, because they were a SNAP client, they were actually going and have a full audit trail. Mm of every one of the donations and the dollars that came in and they were able to, you know, help find out that, uh, what that athletic secretary had done. Do you, what happened? Uh, are you profitable? We are not. Where we, are you spending all the money? You've raised 800 million, you've 800 million dollars has gone to schools, which means $160 million has come to you guys. If we're yep. doing 20%, yep. where's the money going? Uh, investment into the technology. We've acquired a couple companies as well. We've acquired three businesses so far. Um, we've also raised capital as well. $90 million in a series B mm -hmm. led by the investment group that owns the LA Dodgers. Yes. Back Eldridge. in 2021. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we've, we've hired, uh, we invest in hiring outside salespeople. Um, so our, our sales force, we have 150 boots on the ground that actually serve the communities in which they live. So is so, that your highest overhead or is it that in technology? Uh, it's that in technology. So we've also scaled up our technology team as well. 30 seconds left here. What's the, what's the end game? Is it to go public? The end game is to build a transformative platform that supports teachers and students and it's teachers and athletic directors and coaches the way that they support their kids you know, football background with me. So I focus on the process. If we build a great company that serves the needs of all of our customers, then who knows what happens. But you stay, you're going to stay within like helping for the most part schools or schools, can it expand? Schools, youth organizations, colleges. Yep. It can yeah. Grow. Yeah. It can well, grow quite a bit. There's a little bit of a growth runway there. It's <laughs> a big market for us. Yes, and imagine sure. a moat too with getting the schools signed on. That's a hard part. Yeah, it's incredibly hard. And it's one of the reasons you have to invest the, the way that we're investing. Come back and let us know how things are going. I promise. Really interesting. Cole Morgan, founder and CEO of Snap Mobile, uh, joining us here in our Bloomberg Interactive Broker Studio. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon again. Thank you.